Hello everybody. This video is going to be about turning this uh, landscaping fence into this. And it turned out prettier than I thought it was going to. Um, I've got a friend, she saw my homemade chandelier. I'll try to remember to put a link to that video. And she wanted me to make her chandelier. So I don't know if she really wants a you know, like a real chandelier or something more like this, because that's kind of, I made something out of something kind of like this for my bathroom. And, uh, so she, if she's talking about something different, that's all right. I can do something with this one. But, uh, my Dollar Tree didn't have the fence, but a uh, family dollar did, and that's a dollar. And, uh, it's, it's pretty flexible. And that was one of the things I was wondering about. So I watched a YouTuber's video about uh, she was making a birdhouse. And so I could see how flexible it was. And at the end, I'm going to show you how I got the paint to look like this. And I added a little dark to make it look kind of rusty and dirty. Uh, the inside's not as detailed. but And I'm wanting it to be shabby chic and you know maybe hang this way with little things dangling from it crystals and I've got some big rolls of little fake pearl strands and right now I'm going out to my shop to see what all I can find and I haven't decided whether I'm going to put a protective coat on it because I did use chalk paint and it's supposed to be pretty tough so uh I'll be back in a little bit, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you, you know, exactly how I did this. I'll do one and show you exactly how I made it. Okay, here are a few things I found out in my shop. I think that might look cute. With something dangling off the end of it, I don't know. And my pink carts from Dollar Tree. I got that yarn at a thrift store. And I got this at Dollar Tree, and I think that's tinsel glitter. It's for nails. And I might put it on this ball. I'm not sure about any of this yet. I just brought in these things from Dollar Tree. And there's a hanging kit for a light in the shop that I didn't use. And I might paint it and use it with it or just hang it temporarily with it while I work on it. And then here's just some bling. And I think these will look cute hanging from it for a shabby chic look. I like the little picture frames. Oh man, it ain't focusing right. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus up close. No. Anyway, this one, I think I made it out of um, caulking and cornstarch mixed together. I'd have to look up the video again because I forgot how I made it. And, uh, and of course, in a mold. That's the same thing. And this... Is that wood putty filler in a can? I can't remember the name of it. But it's kind of brittle. It'll, it can break easy. And this, you can't even see the design. Well, I think it's the same as that one. Oh, this is pitiful, I'll say. And this one's made with hot glue in a silicone mold. Uh, that's made with hot glue so they won't break that's a good thing about them I might need to really make some more of them or these and that's just a uh, earring I got at a thrift store I can dangle from the bottom I'll definitely use this I think and these and now if I can separate this they had a bunch of flashy jewelry on sale at Walmart. They were marked down. I don't know why it's not focusing over the table. It was marked down to a dollar. So I might work some of that in. I'd pull, <laughs> I'd pull my earlobes down. And this is thrift store stuff. Just uh, necklaces and bracelet. I might could use some of the beads. 
and I don't know what that was, but I got it at a thrift store. And that was marked down to a dollar at Walmart. And I can take that. Of course, for shabby chic, I could leave it on there. I don't know. Hmm. And some paper doilies. I don't know about paper doilies, though. I might could mod podge them or something so that they won't get you know yellow looking and they can be washed and then this is one of those bracelets you can get at Dollar Tree I guess it's a bracelet and I stretched it with my heat gun <laughs> it was connected and it was about that big around you've probably seen them at Dollar Tree and I brought these in don't know if I use them and oh okay over here Here's some wire, and I might put a little of this moss. It looks a little too green. I don't know. I'll be thinking about that, and I just brought these in in case I want to add a little color. I got the other thrift store too, and I got this moss at Walmart. It's very green, <laughs> and these are acrylic strands of you know, little octagon shaped fake crystals. And I don't know if you can see the shape of those. I'll definitely use some of these. But maybe she'll like it. Maybe that's what she's talking about. If not, you know, I might keep it or sell it or something. But this is just a all the stuff I brought in. It's just too cold in the shot right now. I'm going to go ahead and try to cover this ball with this what looks like tinsel glitter. I've never used that stuff. I've seen videos. And I found this little gadget. I think it's something you hook a wire to. And I poked a hole in the end of the ping pong ball. I'll uh Probably use stronger glue, but this will be all right. If not, I'll fix it <laughs> later. All right, get this in there where I'll be able to hang it. This plastic is so delicate, it bows in easy. Okay. And this brush, it's about had it, so uh, I'm gonna use it on glue. I had tons of glue and it sat out in my shop through the winter and it, it ruined like the the wood glue I had I like to use it to uh, make crackle and it just ruined it that stuff's not cheap you know it's kind of hard making videos uh, doing crafts <laughs> I've seen a lot of very professional ones and boy they really work at it because uh, I've had a YouTube channel but I just decided to start this one and uh, I guess if I knew how to use my camera better I don't even know how to pause it but uh, so if y'all will subscribe and help me build up I think I've got six subscribers so far and that's pitiful seeing how my boyfriend and his best friends a couple of them but I've only got maybe four videos so far I'm trying to build my channel up oh this glue is messy ain't much way to do it without getting it all over my fingers I'm hoping to get better at making these videos surely my boyfriend he uh he's pretty good at making the videos it's just easy for him now Of course, he's not doing crafts. <laughs> okay. I think I got glue all around it. I hope so. Now, how am I going to do this? I can say I'll turn the glue end of the plate up that way. 
because I want to save what I can of this stuff. Oh, goodness. Okay. Get some stuff to it. Ooh, that's pretty if I got enough. Oh man, that come out quick. Go ahead and put some all around it. Okay. Now I got pretty fingers. Let's see. Let's roll it around in it, maybe. Oh, look. I didn't get glue there, but... Well, yeah. Well. Keeps coming off. When I touch it. I do never use this stuff. <laughs> Smush it on there a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I like that stuff. I think. I like the way it looks. I don't know about. I may not put enough glue. Okay, let's doctor that spot. Just makes perfect, or at least better anyway. Look at this. Look at all these bald spots. Hmm. to touch it. Seems to come off when I touch it. Let's just pat it in and we're going to stay in there good. I could probably put my glue a little thicker too. Okay, see where I touched it? <sighs> I need to just get it to a point where it seems okay and then not touch it. Okay, well, I got a lot of it stuck to my fingers. Okay, now what that. Sit and dry. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll stay on. The thing about doing with the earring, I couldn't find my regular pliers, so I'm straighten out the wire that goes in the ear. And then, let's see, maybe I'll bend it. I'm no expert with wire. <laughs> Yeah, the reason I was saying that this is harder than I thought it'd be to make these kind of videos is you need to get up and look for your pliers or or get something you forgot. It's, and then, you know, you have to edit them. And, wow. Some people are really good at it. Oh, and I was going to mention also the woman I said that makes made the birdhouse out of that uh, plastic fencing. 
I'm going to try to find a link to that video and uh, put it in the description because uh, even though I would have done that shape, I just uh, hadn't had any that fencing before and I was wanting to find somebody doing a video where I could see how flexible it was. And then uh, I saw her video and she, she was very creative. So she had done a couple other things with that fence also. I can't remember what it was, but it was pretty. I'm pretty sure I subscribed to her. <laughs> I can't get that little piece bent. Okay, this is going to require reading glasses. Yeah, I'm at that age. Yep. <laughs> don't look bad. Don't look professional, but it don't look bad. Alright. And then, uh, I'll be working on some more stuff. And then, I may even run right along with it some of the smaller beads and then of course I'm gonna do crystals I just oh that just looks so pretty on there and uh, I'm probably going to use like the really pale pink so I don't know if I use any of the hearts let me compare but yeah they're a lot darker and I love pink. I love hot pink. Purple. <laughs> As you can see, the container's out of my shop. Uh, yeah, my shop's really bright colors. My house isn't, but my shop is. But I don't think she would like the bright colors. She has, you know, good taste and all. I'm the one that likes the <laughs> bright colors. <laughs> she kids me about my earrings I wear. Or used to wear. <laughs> when we work together but uh yeah I think those look good but yeah that was that's really nice I can't wait to get the crystals on it too okay I think my camera the battery might be going dead I don't know uh, I'm just gonna bend these up like that and I'll bend this one up Okay, I think it'll look cute. Maybe. Might use it. I don't know. Okay, now I'm back to this thing. I got this glue out to glue uh, that little piece in. And I still got a lot of bare spots, so I'm going to pile on some glue. Maybe use my finger to spread it around. Because I don't think I had near enough glue the first time. And I may not have enough of the glitter in the house. I, I've got another one out in the shop. Another one of the, these. But I didn't go get it. Yeah, this cold weather, it's mostly like I'm using the shop as a storage shed for my craft stuff let's see I was thinking about going ahead and doing that half but oh the glue bottle blowing it off the plate I better go ahead and do the whole thing or oh man or I'll forget what I have and have not covered Okay, I'm not going to be able to recover any of that stuff. i got glue all over that plate. Let's see, I guess that's the kind of stuff you're supposed to edit out, but, you know, it's kind of funny. And you can see that, uh, everybody gets aggravated. <laughs> but as far as, uh, the paper doilies I was thinking about using, 
I don't think I will. I, I got one out and looked at it. I forgot. I've got some lace somewhere. And, uh, I'll check it out. Yeah, I need to get some more glue and replace all that that got ruined this winter. Okay, let's see if we got enough to... Oh, goodness, let me wipe my hands. Yeah, we keep uh, old towels just for uh, things like this. Okay. Oh, I think we're all around. There we go. Maybe that'd be better. It'd probably be better if I had more of the tinsel. Or glitter or whatever it's called. This stuff's really sparkly. Yeah, that works better rolling it around, but I don't think I've got quite enough on here. It seemed like everywhere I touched it, it would come off on my finger. So, that, that'd probably be good because uh, maybe that other layer will show through the glue. So maybe I won't have to use the other one right away. I'd like to hang on to it if I can. And there might be somewhere you can get it cheaper. I don't know. The tinsel glitter. I just seen that at the Dollar Tree. And I'd heard somebody say that it's cheaper to get the uh, tinsel glitter for nails than it is for crafts. But I don't know. Kind of new to it. So I don't know. I don't really know about all that. Oh, I think it's looking good. It almost looks like one of those aluminum balls people are making out of aluminum full. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I ain't going that much trouble. Alright. Well, there's that. So I'll let that dry. Okay, I thought I was filming this. But I don't think it was. I put a little moss in different places all the way around. Put a little there and a little there. I don't want it like in the same place on each side. Oh, that glue. <clears throat> I got my air purifier on. You might hear it roaring. And there's a piece. And right here I put a big blob because the connectors for the necklace are right there. And I just hide them. And so, and I'm probably going to put some moss inside also. But I just wanted to share that with you. And then I'll figure out what to do next. Okay, I got my hot glue gun, and I held the beads up from one corner to the other, and I'm hot gluing them together, right at the ends, just even, and that way they'll drape like that. Oh, my kitty cat's getting nosy. <laughs> and uh, I've pre-measured, let me show you, oh, that's the long ones and the medium. Like, there's the medium, and there's a the long one. Uh -oh. oh, don't get near the hot gun. And then the tiny beads are the shortest. And so I'm going to make four of these. And then I'll glue that with uh, this glue inside the frame. And then I'll drape over its top. I'll show you in a little while. Uh, and I'm going to add a few of these. It's that stuff. <laughs> it's all over my table. And, uh, well, I'll show you what I did. Let's see. Let me set this down. Uh -oh. There we go. Okay, I had it. Well, here's another one I got cut. Okay, it's just uh, cut like that. And I'm folding it in half. That's about the length. Uh, of the whole thing and so I'm just gonna let's see well actually I'm gonna fold it this way then I'm gonna fold it in half 
like that. And I'm going to really pull on it like this where it won't uh, just stay flared out. And then, uh, then I'll tie it with this stuff. It's, uh, it was in the craft section at Walmart and you tie bows with it. And it's got a little wire in it. You probably just twist it, but I tie a knot in it. Like, I've got a knot tied there. And then on the frame of the chandelier, I'll tie it up there to it. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> In case you heard that odd noise. <laughs> okay, and I'll probably put this LED light in it. It says it's a warm light, but it looks a little white. But I'm just going to hang it in there with an extension cord just to give you an idea what it'll look like lit up. But I'm hoping the fairy lights will be a, a little more amber colored. But, you know, this is one way you could do it. This is like a dollar ninety something at Walmart. And, uh, extension cord. Just tie it up to it. And this shouldn't get too hot. I wouldn't use, uh, I'll show you what I was thinking about using. was a Christmas candle. And, uh, the bulb gets too hot. It would just be a fire hazard. So, uh, okay, uh. After I get this stuff added, then I'll I'll show you what it looks like and explain some of the things I did. Well, I've got everything on it now, and I've just kind of got that nightlight rigged up in it, as you can see. <laughs> but oh, I think it turned out so pretty. But I still got to get the electric fairy lights to put on it, and it looks really good with. I can't remember what this stuff is called. But it looks really good. I put uh, three of those things of that in there that I showed you how I made it. And that, that makes it really glow good. And um, let's see. Let's see how it looks from underneath. Of course, it'll be a different light. Okay, well, I got hung on the crystal. And up here, I'm going to go back and put glue. I've already done it on some of the things. But everything I have hanging here, I'm going to put glue on it. And um, the knots where I have the, the hanger tied on, I'm going to put glue on them. Don't want anything coming apart. And, uh, that's the uh, beads I was gluing together in threes. They turned out really good. And it, I think it was easier to build them and then glue them on. You know, build them with the hot glue and then put them on later. And I put um, clothesline clips to hold it in place while the glue dried. But yeah, I think it's beautiful. I sent her a video before I totally finished it and she said she loved it. So that's good and um, the knots I made with the beads I'm gonna put some glue in that where it'll stay tied and the problem's gonna be uh, moving it all this stuff can tangle up so I may just put aluminum foil or something over each piece so that it don't get all uh, tangled up and she's taking it home. <laughs> and these, um, I had put four, you know, the white and the beige lace on each side. And I may, uh, glue them to the edge here. Because they, they like to stick to this, uh, that stuff. Whatever it's called. But, uh, yeah, I'll put this bling. Let's see if I can find it. My table is a disaster. Can you can imagine what my shop looks like. I put it on the inside and not hanging out because uh, it's just a little too blingish, I think, for her taste. So I think she really like it. And some of the 
acrylic crystals I hung on fishing line and then just added like a little pearl that one I added oh goodness it won't focus I added a little blue stone something acrylic <clears throat> bead that's what it's got and here's a green one with the acrylic crystal at the end and then a couple of pink ones on this one okay and next I'm going to show you how I did the uh, the paint on it and how I made it square looking uh, let's see let me cut this off and we'll see how it looks with the light inside it off okay yeah yeah that looks really nice you can see my unfinished doorway <laughs> I have a lot of unfinished projects in my house. But anyway, well, it's too bright. I think it's very pretty. I'm tempted to keep it. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but it's pretty. Okay, I'll show you how I painted the fence. Thanks for watching. And please hit like and please share this and subscribe. I'm trying to build up my channel. And I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Now what I would do, if you want to do it the cheaper, easier way, and just use this for a light, um, I wanted to make sure this is what the LED night light looks like inside. The one with the regular little bulb, even though it's uh, very low watts, I think it would still get too hot with all the lace and that stuff <laughs> that I don't know the name of in it and what I would do if I was going to use this as a light but I found uh, some of the electric fairy lights I think it was on it was on eBay or wish I got to order them but I can't remember which one it was on uh, I found some of them for like five dollars so uh they're not bad either, but you have to wait a while. Um, but this, you know, it's it's pretty bright. But what I would do if I was going to use this is I would get white um, electrical tape and I would tape all this together because you wouldn't want this to get halfway unplugged right there and the lace to get in there and touch the the prongs so that's what I would do and this this shouldn't get hot at all so anyway I just wanted to include that okay before I start showing you how I painted it I'm going to show you how I get these off and also how I got it to look square and uh, I use these I guess they're called tin snips and I had cut the the points off of mine. I kind of wish I'd left them on. I don't know why I cut them off. But anyway. Um, just uh, take them. Let me get it. Get it to where it'll show. <laughs> and cut it off. And I'd seen in the other lady's video. I'm going to put a link to her video at the bottom. I think it was her video where she just scored it with a razor. I'm cutting into the table. <laughs> and then she could snap it. I don't think I scored it enough. Oh, okay, there it goes. So, yeah, that was fairly easy. And maybe a little neater. There's that cut. And there's the one with the tin snaps. It's not quite as nice looking. <clears throat> but um, I think she was having trouble getting it to stay uh, square looking. And what I did, I used the tin snaps to do this, which is probably the harder way. 
But I tried a razor. Like if you go to fold it, these little things are gonna hit against each other. You could probably just cut one side off. I don't know. But need to remove this. And I'll show you how it looks with 10 snips and it's really not too easy to do. But that's how I did it. I just cut down in it. I tried it with the razor and I'd end up cutting my finger off, so. And then I just kept cutting away. And if you ain't careful, you could have cut a hunk. It would show from the front. But, you know, if you're doing shabby chic, it ain't got to be perfection. But anyway, I did like that and just kept chipping away at it. But what I'm going to try now because this is not a fast way to do it, is a wood burning tool. Okay, let's try this. I got the ceiling fan on in case you hear something. I don't know if this is the best tip to use or Seems to be working. That ceiling fan ain't blowing the odor away like I hoped it would. Let's see, I'll go ahead and cut across here. I hope you can see this. So far, I you know I've got across here and on this part a little bit. I don't think it has to be cut down all the way. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I should have put my. I've got a respirator, I guess that's what it's called, out in the building. I just didn't want to go get it. I thought the ceiling fan would do better, do better than that. Okay, well, I've made a mess, but wow. Apparently, I touched it there. <laughs> so probably you could just, like, flatten it out instead of actually taking it off. We'll try that. Put this stinking thing over here. Okay. And you could warm it through here with a blow dryer or something, but uh, maybe we can do it without it. Let's see how it goes together so well right here. And um, just gently slowly if I got in the camera it might help right there is where I melted that stuff I should have had my camera on the other side since I'm right handed and what I did <clears throat> took these and I just squeezed it together And it turns white, so if you wanted to use it without painting it, I'm not sure about all that. And right here in the middle, I line these up. And then I get this and I squeeze it. And I'll do it all the way down this edge. I'm kind of doing it at an angle, so it's kind of hard to do. Okay, let me line. 
line these up. Yeah, I'm right handed. <laughs> I'm gonna work from the opposite direction because of where I put my camera. But that'll be all right. And with my other one, it didn't, you know, I was afraid it might just snap in two. It didn't, but that don't mean it won't. So, I mean, you could warm it up a little, maybe a heat gun, which <laughs> would probably melt it if you held it too long. Or blow dryer, but this seems to be doing all right. And then, uh, see, so this stays... Stays bent really well. And then I open it up. But anyway, the main thing I want to show you is how I painted it. But I just want to share that how to get the get it to look square and stay that way. Cause before I did it the hard way with the ten snips and cut these little uh, edges off. Um, it would kind of get warped looking. So taking uh, those, well, taking these little edges off, just right there where they would, um, they touch, and it keeps it from, you know, getting a good shape. You know, just take those very edges off. You don't have to take that whole triangle piece off. Although you could. And, um, uh, that'll give you a good square. Okay. Gold paint coming off this plastic bag. I used that for another project I was working on. Well, my bathroom chandelier that I made. I laid it on this to paint it. Okay, well actually, I think I stood it up. Yeah, I had it standing up, so I'm gonna have to cut this, this other spike off where I can stand it up. Okay, am I gonna have to bend it again? Let's do some more melting. Breathe some more toxic fumes. <clears throat> that way I can just go ahead and make the square. Let me show you how I painted it. I'm just I'm still cutting it off. I'm just going to squish it around until it's gone. Of course, I might cut down into that. I need a bigger end on it, don't I? But I'm not going to try to change it now. Think careful. I'm going to go all the way through it. You know, and these fence panels are just a dollar, so nobody wants to throw a dollar away. But if you mess up, <laughs> experiment, and you can always, you know, do something with these shapes. And that lady. I can't remember the name of her channel. It's something about 50. Life at 50 or something like that. I'll have the link. But uh, she's making some really pretty things with these uh, pieces of fence. Okay. Where's the... Okay, the ends, they won't meet, so I don't have to do them. Okay, and here's the one I started with the 10 snips. You can see it would work, but it was really a pain. To do it so this is easier and you, I mean you might try it with a razor but you might lose a finger I probably would have if I'd have tried it <laughs> yeah you should have seen me with my uh, hot glue gun when I was working on a shabby sheep chandelier luckily I wasn't recording <laughs> 
Oh, I'm kind of clumsy with stuff like that. And, woo! I got a big blob of that glue on my finger. Yeah, it didn't feel too good. So I ain't even gonna take chances with the razor. I just know myself too well. All right. Now let me cut that off for my kitty cats. Get against it. That would be bad. All right. Now fold this side. I'm just gonna do it from this angle since I showed you. It'd be quicker. Maybe. I don't know if I melted enough of that away. Maybe I did. Yeah, I subscribed to that lady because I want to see what all she comes up with. She, she made them really pretty. Because I was wanting to make a chandelier with this stuff. And I just didn't have any of the fencing. So I thought, well, I'm going to look some videos. Just see how flexible it is and everything. And I found hers and I was like, oh my goodness. Because I would have probably painted it something like that. But, oh, I saw hers. I just thought it was so beautiful. squeeze it tight. And getting this middle section up here close to these little designs is pretty important uh, to keep it folded good. All right, one more. Hopefully it won't snap while I'm doing this. I haven't had any snap yet, but I don't mean it won't. This time just starting here in the middle. Get these two to line up. Just two little curly cues. Get it bent around that really good. It ain't gonna be perfection if it's gonna be shabby chic or you know rustic or anything. That's what I like. That's why I have a lot of texture paint on my walls in my house. <laughs> like when something's gotta have a perfect finish on it or something. That's not my favorite thing to do. I, I just uh, don't like having to be that picky. I don't have a light touch, I guess. So you got all these little white lines, so if you were keeping it brown, I don't know what you'd do about that. See right here, is it showing? These are kind of flaring out. So my bend is right here, and I want it more in the center, so let's see if I can get it more in the center where they won't flare out so bad. Bend it around that way. Well, I'll get my finger in it. Okay, that seemed to help. You just work with it. Okay, now I'll be working backwards with the glue. There. Now for the uh, crackle paint. I'll be 
that I didn't bring that paintbrush out here. And I thought I was organized and ready this time. Is this showing? No, it's not. Let me raise my camera a little. Okay, putting the glue up here. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm thinking, I don't know if more glue makes more crackle or more paint. I'm thinking I've heard more paint. So maybe I won't go heavier on the glue in some places. Just go heavier on the paint. part got some glue on it I'll smear it around with my left hand yeah after this I gotta clean up that mess that's on my dining room table from making that chandelier oh you can just imagine what my shot looks like <laughs> <laughs> oh, like multiple projects are going on and I don't put my mess up oh man and I'm wanting to clean it up before I do an intro to my shop but I don't know I don't know if I'll have time I might just uh, do an intro with it messy what do you call that creative chaos something like that that's what we'll call it I'm not the most organized person on earth. I can tell you that. Okay, just smeared the glue around. And now I'll go get the exact brush that I used on the other one. And show you how I put the paint on. I could have swore I brought it out here. Okay, so my uh, glue is kind of runny looking. And you want it to get a little tacky before you paint it. And it's not tacky at all. It's so cool outside, I guess. But, uh, I'm going to blow dry the glue a little. And then, uh, I'll come back. Okay. Oh. This is the paint I used. On the one I made for my friend. <clears throat> and I got it at Walmart. I don't remember what it cost. And. This is what I used. To get kind of the dirty look. In places on it. And yeah, any. That's just a couple of colors I picked up out there in my shop, and that's the actual cup I used. <laughs> I'll use it again, too. Okay. And I use this kind of brush. i seen somebody do a table with this kind of brush, but I don't think it'd really matter on this. So, uh, My glue is really not tacky enough, but I'm impatient. And it wasn't tacky enough on my last one, either. The one I made for my friend, so... I just put it on really thick, a little too thick there, so I'm gonna pat it again. Cause you kind of want it to look like it's got 100 years worth of paint on it, or something like that. And I got, I like to get it around the edges of this brush, where I can get into all these little grooves, and corners. And if you skip a spot, it don't really matter because uh, 
you're gonna be sanding some of it off anyway so that's what I like don't have to have perfection it's already looking prettier and there's some of these corners get some more on there <clears throat> Paint pretty thick. I'm not going to do the whole square. I'll do this side just to show you. And I did the inside with a paintbrush. Well, matter of fact, it was this paintbrush <laughs> I used on another project after that. And I didn't clean my brush. So that's what I done inside these grooves with. With the paint. Well, I put the glue on the inside. And then I used the brush to get it down in it. But uh, I'll have to find another brush. Yeah. Didn't clean up after that project. Or didn't clean my brush. And see how that one's sticking in a lot? You know, you can, you can always like force it out a little bit. It's not a big deal. And remember, in the video, you know, I'd worked with it like this, painting it and everything. And so I was hanging, you know, it's going to be, of course you can hang it either way. But I was going to have mine hanging this way. But when I was. When I was applying the beads. I had them looping this way. So I kind of had to reverse them. Yeah. Well the paint. Uh, the, the glue is getting tacky. Because uh, it's getting clear looking. I better hurry. I want it dry. I want it tacky but not dry. I just poured out some of the paint on the the uh, garbage bag I'm using here. I put a lot of paint. Let's see, right there I'll put it really thick. And I'm going to use a blow dryer. Um, I've seen somebody say you get more crackle if you use a blow dryer. I don't know if that's right or not. But I'm going to do it. One thing, because I'm impatient. And that's one thing about making these uh, chandeliers. They take patience. You kind of get tired of working on it before you throw. <laughs> because all the little things you have to string and tie and everything. Um, like if you're selling them. Like the pink lamp I made. It costs more to make it. Than it does this. But this is so much more complicated to make that I would charge more for this. Just because so much time, you know, you don't give away your time. Time is more important than anything, as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, you got to value your time. And if somebody else don't value your time enough to pay for it, then, uh, oh well. <laughs> Now, I'm going to cut this off to blow dry it because it's just too loud. And I'll be right back. Okay, I got my crackle done. And I hope it's set long enough. <laughs> but you can see where it, it didn't crackle as good as the other one, probably because I didn't put the glue quite as thick. So maybe that's why. But it's plastic, so, you know, just uh, crack it. <laughs> so there's a good one okay and now I'm going to mix the paint to uh, get the dirty look just a little bit I'll show you how much I put 
Okay. It's just a little bit of this one. And I like to use the matte, not the shiny paints. I guess that's matte, yeah. Right there. Okay, and now a smaller amount of this one, if I can get any out, it's about empty. Well, I'll run my finger in it and just add it that way. There's my. We have a lot of when our towels and rags get a little raggedy, they're uh, work rags after that. So okay, don't even have to mix it together really. And I may use this stiff paintbrush. Still my finger. Okay. Hopefully I got enough of the dark. Just where dirt would settle. I think I need a little more dark. Let's dig it out with this. to be perfect and then I went and uh, added the fake moss which was a little too green but okay and after I do a couple of spots I get a very wet paper towel just kind of go over it I need a dry one too but I forgot to get one so I'll grab this towel and because one of those is kind of orange looking it looks kind of like rust which I liked it was an accident but it was a good accident well I about took the paint off right there it's all right and do it like that in a few places So it just depends on how dirty and rusty it got. Just how much you put it. And you might could even use a little bit of green. Instead of using real moss or, well, fake dried painted moss. So it is, you know, just random. Don't have to be perfect. It looks like it sit outside for years. <clears throat> All right, so we got an idea on this. Get some of that. So now I'm going to use this emery board to rough it up. This is emery board I used on the, the one I made. <laughs> It had a hard day. So, uh, just the high points where it would normally get wear and tear. And the edges. Be rough with it. And I wanted to show you like, where I had flakes of paint. That's what it looked like old paint flaking off. This probably ain't as dry as the other one was. But I would go back and forth this way, and then I would just push it, and you get a big hunk of paint sticking up. That didn't make a big hunk. Let's try it. Where else? I'll try it right here. It just looks like old paint flaking off of it. But yeah, it ain't complicated. And it's a dollar, so you know. If you goof up, you lost a dollar and a little bit of paint. Just random 
some spots. Let's see, in here we might get... Oh yeah, we got some good paint flaking right there. And that was kind of accident too. First time I was like, oh no. And then I was like, wow, I like that. <laughs> so there's some just dangling. I'll just leave it. Right here. Yeah, the glue is, no, the paint was thick here. So it's still, it's dry on the outside, but it's still a little damp in there. I got a lot of dark there. Let's see if I can wet it. Get some of that off. We don't want it that dark. A little bit better before I wipe the smears off. Let's see. There we go. So, well, yeah, I won't sand on that right now. It's so wet. You know, edges. They get a lot of wear and tear. Let's see what we got here. Well, I knocked most of that off. That's fine. Oh, that feels... Well, I think it's wet from that rag. But it seems like if you hold it and go this way, you're more likely to get the paint flaking up than if you do it this way. You do it this okay. way. Okay. Had to change the battery, of course. But I roughed it up a little more. Here's a big old hunk. Uh, so that's how I did it. Now, to make a chandelier, I think, you know, it wouldn't be, if you're making a bunch, you could just, it wouldn't be as time consuming. Ain't no way I could charge. They suggest for your craft stuff, maybe like nine, ten dollars an hour for your time. But there's no way I could charge that much on my first one. Because, you know, I was learning and gathering up, you know. Now, if I made a bunch and I had them lined up, you know, did everything at once to each one of them, I could do it quicker. And what I'm thinking is I would probably go ahead and melt these. And before I folded it, I would uh, paint the inside and the outside. And if I were going to add lace... You know how I've got four strands of lace hanging down? You could use whole panels or, um, what do you call that stuff? <sighs> anyway, anything you're going to have, it might be better to just attach it while it's all laying flat, especially if you're going to be making a lot of them. Attach it while it's laying flat, everything that you can, and then, you know, hook it together. And of course, you want to glue that with some, you know, E6000 or that kind I was using. It's some kind of Gorilla stuff for glass, plastic, everything. I don't remember the name of it, but I showed it in a video. <clears throat> and that would make things go a lot faster. You know, and just remember if you want it hanging this way, to decorate it this way, don't do like I did. But ain't that pretty? Yeah, I like it. And as far as I know, that's all I think I needed to tell you. But good luck. I hope you make some of them. Oh, and the woman whose link I'm hoping I remember to put in the description. Uh, let me look at my phone. I saved it where I can give her some credit because uh, her projects are just awesome. I kind of copycatted, even though I'd have probably made it pretty much like this anyway. But it's Life at 50 and Beyond. And it's not and beyond, it's the and symbol. So uh, hopefully I'll remember to put a link. Yeah, check out her channel. She's really creative with this stuff and I can't wait to see what else she makes with this. But anyway, please subscribe and hit like. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye.